Hola, hola chicas y chicos, bienvenidos. Today we're going to learn how to say some plural foods and because they're plural they will all have the definite articles los and las in front of them. So los for the masculine ones and las for the feminine ones. So have a go at saying them after me. Los plátanos. Los plátanos. Los plátanos. Los tomates. Los tomates. Los tomates. Los bocadillos. Los bocadillos. Los bocadillos. Los mariscos. Los mariscos. Los mariscos. Las naranjas. Las naranjas. Las naranjas. Las manzanas. Las manzanas. Las manzanas. Las fresas. Las fresas. Las fresas. Las peras. Las peras. Las peras. Las galletas. Las galletas. Las galletas. Los plátanos. Los tomates. Los bocadillos. Los mariscos. Las naranjas. Las manzanas. Las fresas. Las peras. Las galletas. Well done, that sounded really good. So, have you worked out what all of these plural foods are? So, starting with los plátanos, I expect you can see that those are bananas. And los tomates are tomatoes. What do you think about los bocadillos? That's right, they are sandwiches. And in Spain, they usually have sandwiches in French style bread, like you can see in the picture here. Then what about los mariscos? Have you worked out what they are? Los mariscos are shellfish. So anything that comes in a shell like mussels or cockles or prawns. Then the next one, las naranjas. There's oranges, of course, and it's the same word as for the colour. And las manzanas. That's right, apples. Las fresas are strawberries and las peras I expect you worked out from the word being so similar to English are pears and then finally we have las galletas that's right those are biscuits hasta luego